Hello my dudes and dudettes. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Bit of a different uh, setup here with all the lens and shit. Oh shit, that one should smile Asia. Let's do this. Yeah, that's good. This and this. Alright, so uh, today it's a bit of a different uh, video, a bit of a story. Uh, gonna tell you about the seven things that I really didn't expect when I moved here, when I first moved here. Uh, I came from a Mediterranean country and Germany is very different. Germany is a, it's a Nordic country sort of like it's very different than the Mediterranean country. Also obviously very Mediterranean. And these are seven things that I really didn't expect uh, after I moved here. Like life these are very significantly different things than what I'm used to and the first one is eh, yeah there were many many things it was hard to choose like I had, I had a huge list and I decided to go with these seven but yeah here goes so first one is that you can just leave your shit around and no one will steal it like I'm talking uh, restaurants playgrounds and I don't know, public space, like, uh, you, can, you can even leave your bike unlocked and it will probably not get stolen unless it's a really super cool bike or you're in a big city. But like, you sit in a restaurant, you go to the bathroom, like, usually in a normal country, well, normal for me, you go and you go with your phone, if you have a laptop in your backpack, you either hide that backpack or you go with it. Because if you leave it on the table, it will, it will go away, it will find some legs and... Uh, will go somewhere magically and in Germany no you can you can leave your phone on the table like in a restaurant go to the bathroom and it will be with, it will be there the first time it happened to me I was like oh shit I left my phone here oh shit it's still there what the fuck <laughs> so yeah that, that surprised me a lot like same goes with laptops like I see I see open cars I see cars that are just left open there's stuff inside like you can see stuff no one takes it like what are you guys insane like kleptomaniac sense is tingling uh what the, what is going on <laughs> yeah so uh sort of very like safe in terms of uh possessions and and, and theft and stuff a second thing that just fucking blew my mind you know how I, I i said it in the past and i will say it again and i will repeat it until it changes which will be never germany is very backwards with like technology modernization, digitalization, and so on. Now, there's a tax in Germany that I, I pay every two months. And the tax is for having technology. Like in the beginning, it was uh, if you if you own a screen larger than 24 inches or something, and or if you have a phone, but now they cannot really control it. So you just get fined every two months, 57 euros. I think it's the ARD or something like that. You, you just get fined for having technology. Like, what the fuck? I can own technology. I already got taxed for this. Why Why are you taking a tax? Like, I paid this. I paid the tax. If you give me this tax free and then I need to pay a tax. Okay, fine. But twice? Twice tax? One, two, twice? What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, I think there's a way to avoid this if you, like, don't open the door for them. Because you need to, they need to frontally sign you up for something, and they need to check that you're not uh, using the cables or whatever. Like it's fucked up. It is insane. It's absolutely bananas. Yeah. So on to number three. Number three of the things I didn't expect to happen. Uh, my other languages got worse and worse as I learned German. Like uh, my English used to be way better. It is horrible now, as you may well see or hear or look. And it used to be, it used to be better. <laughs> uh, same goes for my native language. Uh, like there, I've been talking about my work in German for so long, and like most of the things I do nowadays, in, in like daily, I do in German. So whenever I talk like to my mom in my native language, or I talk, to, like I had an interview in my native language, and they wanted to hear about work and. and my experience and I was like oh my god I, I don't know the words what are the words for this this it's been two three years what the hell so yeah I I, I tried keeping up my my English like I was uh, I was writing a blog and uh, doing stuff but really and it's not like my German is amazing yeah my German is uh, so so 
it's just that it, it's it's um, like it decimates my other languages. I hope that at some point my English and native language will be up to par as well as my German because right now I'm fluent in like zero seven languages. <laughs> Yeah, uh, alright, number four on things I didn't expect. Uh, as I said, coming from a Mediterranean country, you know, sunny country, you can walk around in flip-flops, shorts, most of most of the year. Then I moved to Germany. I moved to Germany in September. Now, that, that specific September was uh, not that bad. And that winter war was also not that bad. But then came 2018. 2018 or 17? 2017. Anyway, came another winter. Along came another winter. And it was fucking cold. And slowly, slowly, slowly but surely, my whole wardrobe became a winter wardrobe. Which is fine, because you know, you want to be warm in winter and uh, that's alright. But then came the summer of like 18. And I found myself with like three short shirts two like cargo pants and that's it and the rest was like you know it, it gets uh, like 30 40 degrees sometimes and like you're not gonna wear a coat you're not gonna wear a jacket you're not gonna wear long sleeves i mean germans do because their skin is very white but you know uh so yeah, I, I, I was rotating like three shirts and two pants for the longest time until I was like, okay, fuck this. <laughs> I'm gonna buy like summer clothes for the three weeks a year I can use them. And the rest is just like a pile, a huge pile of winter shit. Like tights and underwear and thermal clothing and five different gloves, three like uh, beanies. Two scarves, I don't know. Like, who? I had one coat since I was 14 until I was 29. Suddenly, boom, I have three coats. Like, what the hell? What the actual hell? Yeah, so, lots of winter clothes. Not a lot of summer stuff. But this is also changing. Slowly changing. Anyway, number five of things I didn't expect in Germany is that food in the supermarket is different. The bread is different from what I'm used to. Like they have all sorts of all the grains and, and seeds and I don't know what, but normal white bread that's soft on the inside and has a hard shell, you have to go to a specialty bakery for that, at least in Frankfurt, at least in like three years ago. Anyway, that's like, it, it, it kind of blew my mind that most of the food, and again, this is also changing, blah, 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 blah. 2016, it was still uh, in its, uh, early days and uh, a lot of the food just came out of like uh, uh, tin cans like people would buy tin cans to make like to, to cook at home i don't know like grown-ass people where i come from tin cans are for emergencies like we have this just in case in case there's a war in case there's an emergency in case there's whatever and here it's just like, oh yeah, I just bought a bunch of uh, canned chickpeas and canned like whatever. <laughs> Gonna cook with it. it. I don't know, it doesn't connect to me, for me. It's like, these are not cooking things, these are emergency foods. And like, fruit and vegetables should come fresh and taste good. Which is like, not, wasn't the case for a lot of things, a lot of supermarkets. With, like they have a fresh section, but it just wasn't uh, what I'm used to, you know, sunny country versus dark country. Yeah, and number six on the things I didn't expect in Germany is to do so much bureaucracy. There's so much paperwork and it, it, it got worse. Like now, I don't remember when they started with this uh, privacy settings th stuff, things, but I think it was some, somewhere 2018, 2019. Before that, I didn't have to sign all these things, but now it's like every, every, applica every job application, I need to read a bunch of privacy stuff, declaration or whatever, and then I need to sign it. And when I needed to get my visa back in 2016, it was it was hell. It was absolute hell. And I will make a whole different story about that 
because it was it was like human rights violation level of stupidity and then it's like you want to get your license uh, recognized in Germany bunch of paperwork like three different uh, ministries that you have to go to and you have to talk to a bunch of people you want to you want to get married oh my god so much paperwork you want to move apartments paperwork you want to like sign up for for language school paperwork you want to like you overcook chicken paperwork you undercook fish paperwork <laughs> it's it's every, everywhere and you start uh, if you find if you start a job like a position at something so much paperwork to fill out and I, I know everyone has paperwork it's every country has paper but where I come from when you start a new job you fill out one form and that's it you you like they notify the authorities they notify the tax um, whatever department I don't know tax people they notify uh, the social security people they notify other people it's all in the in the form and everyone is notified now in Germany all the ministries they they talk to each other like they they are friends sort of they, they can pull this information but they make you go through all this paperwork it's paperwork in German it's like kill me now and I did not enjoy most of my paperwork except that one time I finally got to get my visa and I was legal legally legal like I was yeah and I was like yay it was worth it and the last the seventh and last thing that surprised me well the thing is for now that surprised me were a lot of things that surprised me and policemen are super nice like you have to be respectable to them you have to be nice, you have to talk to them in a formal manner. But they are super nice, they will help you, they will try to... They will try to... Like, you know, if you have a problem, you can go to the police officer and like, police are your friend. And... I don't know, in America, no. <laughs> Where I come from, it's like, oh shit, police act like natural shit. I hope I don't get arrested for, for nothing. But here, it's like... Phew. All right, let's party. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's you know, they they are people and they're nice and they they are like they they're on your side. Yay! My friend is becoming a policeman now. Also, super nice guy. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's my list for now. I will have other lists of other things about Germany. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't like it. You know what you want to hear in the future. Have a good one.